Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to make a green screen in Shotcut. So let's start. First of all, once we open Shotcut, over here we need to set up where we would like to save our project, then below over here the project name, let me just call it video4, and then we have to choose video mode. So as you can see we can set up the resolution and frames per second over here, or simply choose automatic and it will be automatically taken from the first clip we're going to import to Shotcut. So let's hit start. And now two very important things. First of all, make sure you are on editing tab. Second of all, go to view, make sure that all of this is turned on. Then from the tabs over here, choose playlist and open the folder where you have your clips. And then all you need to do is drag your clips onto the playlist and then they should be added over here. So uh, let me maybe add those three additional clips over here. And then let's move to the next step, which is adding our first clip to timeline. In order to do that, make sure you are on timeline and then drag the first clip over here. Once you do this, a new track with video one should be added. So right now we need to add another video track. In order to do that, click on those three dashes go to track operations and choose add video track or simply hit ctrl i on the keyboard. Once you do this, as you can see over here, new track was added. So now let's drag one of our green screen effects over here. And as you can see, our green screen effect is already added in this place over here. Now let me remove this green background and maybe move our effect to the right bottom corner. In order to do that, click on your clip over here, choose filters, click on plus, and then type in chroma. Once you start typing chroma, it should find chroma key simple, so click on it. And as you can see, it automatically detected the color to be removed and it removed some parts of the color, but there is still some shadow around it. So in order to remove it, all we need to do is click over here and then choose the color we want to remove. So let's say we're going to remove the green, then increase over here the distance as much as possible for the green color around it, the green stroke or the green shadow to disappear. Just make sure you don't remove too much because then your main effect will disappear as well. So let's say I'm going to make it like this. The green should be gone now. And then I'm going to add effect that will allow me to move it to the right bottom corner. And let's say I want it to be here. And now let's see how it's gonna look like. So let me play it. And as you can see, the smoke is rising from the right bottom corner of the screen. So this is how we added our first green screen effect. Now let me show you another way. Let me show you this one. Uh, let me add this uh, black and uh, green uh, dancing guy over here. So over here, of course, we have to do the same thing. So we select the clip, we go to filters, plus we choose chroma, uh, we click on the simple one. It automatically removed the green color. As you can see, it's quite nice effect. The guy is dancing and then we can see what is in the background. However, green screen effect allows us to remove any color from the video. So as you can see now, it removed the green one, but if we click over here, we can choose any color we want to remove. So let's say I'm going to remove a black color and hit OK. And now as you can see, the black color was removed. We can adjust the distance to remove the black stroke around our dancing guy. And as you can see, we just removed the black color instead of the green one. Uh, so this is how you can remove any color. Now uh, let me show you one more thing, how to use the advanced chroma key filter. Uh, maybe let me add this dancing guy over here and I'm going to show you how to remove it. So select the clip, go to filters, plus type chroma and choose chroma key advanced. And over here we have a little bit more options to choose from. Of course, we can select the color we want to remove. We can select color space, which is red, green, blue, or hue, chroma, intensity. So depends on which one you choose. Uh, you can then adjust these values over here until 
the green shading around our character disappears. So let's say now it disappeared. As you can see, you have uh, more options to be adjusted over here. So it allows you to get a better effect than the simple chroma key option. And one more thing that can be helpful with removing this uh, green uh, shadow around our characters is to add alpha. If we type in alpha, we have alpha channel adjust. So just hit on it. And then over here in the mode, we can choose shave. So it will shave some of the pixels around. So it will shave this uh, green shadow. Of course, you can uh, choose different options over here, for example, blur. But as you can see, blur in this particular case doesn't work well. Maybe for some other cases it will. So I would recommend shave and then adjusting this value over here to get the best possible effect. And then we can simply play it and see how it looks. So let me maybe uh, remove the second part of the video. And right now our green screens were removed and we can export our video. So in order to export the video, all we need to do is hit export over here, choose H264 main profile, hit export file, choose the name, choose the folder where we want to save it and hit save. And at the moment, our task of exporting was added over here. It can take around a minute, few minutes or few hours, depends on the size of it. And while we're waiting for it, remember that on our channel you will find a whole playlist of editing and shortcut. So if you're learning how to edit videos, make sure to watch the whole course, the whole playlist, and you will learn all of the features of shortcut for free. And now, as you can see, my video is already exported. So let me show you how it looks. So as you can see right now, there is this black smoke in the right bottom corner. So this was the first effect we added and then some dancing guy in the center of the screen. So this is how you can make green screen effect in shortcut. Please let me know in the comments if you managed to do that. And remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.